Good day! In this video, we are going to try and solve question 2B of the 2021 NCA Level 3 Probability Distribution Paper. There are three parts to this question, so if you can answer all three parts, you'll get an excellent for this part of the question. So without further ado, let's read part 1. Over many years of trying to eliminate wilding pines from New Zealand, it is known that in cleared areas, there is a probability of them returning. For the North Island, data suggested this is likely to occur anywhere between 3 and 18 months after the land was cleared. So in a North Island, we are going to represent it by a rectangular distribution, start from 3 months and end at 18 months, and that is the first distribution you're going to learn. For the South Island, on the other hand, it is likely between 3 and 27 with the most likely time at 12 months after the land is clear. So this is a rectangular because it's the highest peak there. So they start at 3, end at 27, and the highest peak at 12. The most common number is going to be at 12. So that is a triangular distribution for the South Island. On the grid below, sketch the two probability distribution for the time for the warning points to return to for the North and South Island. So identify the North and South Island. So I'll repeat again, North Island is a rectangular. And the South Island is the triangular distribution. So you can answer that, that will be an achieve in this paper. Okay, so now we shall go to part two. We need a bit of calculation. Okay, so now we're going to go through the calculation thoroughly. Okay, so calculate and estimate for the probability that a randomly selected area in North Island and a randomly selected area in South Island both see re emergent or wildly plant pine tree before eight months after clearing. This is the graph that I've reproduced from part one. So it's going to be three to 27 for uh, triangular distribution and the highest point is at 12. For rectangular distribution, it's going to be three to 18 and we are going to find the height because we calculate the area under the curve. To find the height, the formula to calculate the height is one over B minus A. So the highest point is 18, lowest point is A, three. So 18 minus 3 will give us 15, so the height is 1 over 15. So that height here for the rectangular division is 1 over 15. So we're going to calculate the probability of North Island re-emerge re within 8 months using the rectangular distribution. So we're going to calculate this area here, okay? So the base is going to be 3 to 8, so it will be 5. And the height is 1 over 15, multiply, sorry by 1 over 15, and the answer is 1 over 3. So that is the answer for the re-emergence of uh, the, pine, uh, the pine trees up within 8 months. So now we are going to calculate for the rectangular distribution, which is for the South Island. Okay. So the probability of South Island re-emerges within 18 months, again we need to calculate this length, Okay. the height there. Because the formula to calculate is half base times height, and we need to find the height. To find the height, we need to go to the booklet, and the formula at x equal to x. If this length, this this is the formula, the probability distribution function. If you look in the booklet, the formula booklet is going to be two bracket x minus a bracket b minus a c minus a. So we need to identify what a, b, and c. A is the first part. The the smallest value is three. C, the largest number, which is 27, and B is the most common number, which is 12. Okay, so we're going to substitute them. 2 bracket X minus 3, A is 3, B is 12, 12 minus 3, and then C minus A will be 27 minus 3. So simplify them, we're going to be 2 bracket X minus 3, not 12 minus 3 is 9, 27 minus 3 is 24. So when X equal to 8, because you want to find the height at X equal to 8, substitute x equal to 8, so 2 bracket x minus 3, 8 minus 3, 9 over 24. So 2 times, this is not right actually, so it's going to be 2 times 8 minus 3 is going to give us 10, because 2 times 5 is 10, 9 times 24 is 216, simplify them, it's going to be 5 over 108. So the height here is going to be 5 over 108. To calculate the area of this region, which is within 8, month is going to take half times base times height. The base is going to be 8 minus 3. So it's going to be half times 5 because 8 minus 3 is 5 and the height is 5 over 108. So you put in a calculator, I got no space here, and the answer is going to be 25 out of 216. Ch 
check for me and I think it should be right. Okay, so the probability of uh, South Island, the pine tree we emerge within eight months is going to be 25 over 216. So the question is, what is the probability that the randomly selected area in North Island and the randomly selected in South Island both see re emergence before eight months? So we're going to calculate the probability. So we're going to take these two numbers, one third, we're going to multiply uh, give a bit more space, multiply by 25 over 218, 216, put in your calculator and it should come up to 25, the numerator, to 1 times 25 is 25, denominator is going to be 648, and if you put in your calculator in decimal, it's going to be 0 0.0386, and that will give you a merit. Okay. Last but not least, we're going to do a justification question, okay, assumption question, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so, let's read. Calculate the, calculating the probability in B part 2 requires at least one assumption to be made. Explain whether this assumption is likely or unlikely to be valid. Okay, so the assumption that wilding pine trees re emergent in an area in the North Island and an area in South Island are independent of each other or they are independent events means that one event does not affect another event. So, however, the validity is not valid. Okay, I repeat again, it's not valid. The reason being, the area of wiring planes from the bottom of the North Island and the area from the top of the South Island may be too close that they share the same weather characteristic and this may make them not independent. So, the area will help in the growth so that is why it's not independent and that will give you you can answer that point that will give an excellent so hopefully you go through this paper again if you can answer the full question on question 2b you get an excellent for this paper cheers everyone and have a good day